All right, good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might find yourself on this planet. Um, come at you from Everett, Washington today uh, at my folks' place. And I'm um, going to do another reading, you know, from my devotional. And again, it's reiterate, I know it's redundant, but what I'm about to uh, speak upon um, is applicable to anybody's life, right? Again, if you're doesn't matter if you're atheist, if you're a Christian, a Catholic, you're black, white, gay, straight, you know, freaking the colors of the rainbow. It doesn't really matter, right? Um, so, let's get on with it, right? So, April 2nd, the title is Not Even a Nod, Luke 17, 11 through 19. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. Luke 17 through 15. Traffic was bad and everyone was cranky on that hot afternoon. I noticed a car with two young men waiting to enter traffic from a fast food restaurant driveway. I thought it was nice when the driver ahead of me let him in, or must let them in. But when the nice driver ahead of me didn't get a nod or even a thank you, wave he turned ugly he shouted at the driver he had let he had let in raced forward as if to ram into his car and honked his horn as he continued to vent his anger road rage essentially who was uh quote unquote more wrong did the young driver's ingratitude justify the nice uh, driver's angry response was he owed a thank you? Certainly the ten lepers Jesus healed in Luke 17 story owed gratitude to him. How could only one return to say thank you? If the king of kings can get only a one in ten response of thanks, how can we expect more from others? May the great grace of God be seen, uh, seen in us when our kind acts are unappreciated. So, at the core of this, you know, always be kind and help people out. But when you do acts of kindness, don't expect anything in return, right? That's not what it's about, in my opinion. You just do it because you think it's right, right? I mean, I mean, like, for instance, the other day, um... I was getting off the 525 uh, and exiting off the 525 uh, to get on Evergreen. And, you know, there's a homeless person to my right. And I had four cars sitting in my, my dash. And I was like, you know what? Let's give that, let's give that, uh, that uh, homeless person, you know, my four quarters. Just because I felt it was the right thing to do at the time. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting anything in return, you know. Um, so just... Do what you think is right in the moment, at the moment, and never expect anything in return. It's, you know, um, just be humble and modest at all times when you, when, when it comes time to um, helping people out, you know. And, um, you know, it's not about glory or fame or whatever. And don't get angry, right? Don't get angry if you don't get a, a thank you or a welcome. That, that, that's stupid, you know what I mean? Anyway, set my piece. I'm gonna quit rambling here for now. But uh, God bless you all. Go forth, do great things. Peace be with you, and um, God be with you. Of course, if that's your your sort of thing. If not, uh, yeah, what, what's the phrase of the day? Um, uh, well, I was gonna say what what was. Uh, oh yeah, live long and prosper. That's it. Stand by.